G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so very, very good to see you. I hope you're well. I hope your part of the world is hanging in there and going okay. Today, I want to inspire you and I want to share with you and I want to implore you to break the rules when it comes to everything that you've learned about photography. Let's do it. So here we are, here we are sitting in this particular space right here. Now I have had people talk to me on my channel about why you're blowing out the background, you don't know what you're doing mate, etc. So I suppose there is a pre-described rule book for what a studio setting should look like. Mm -hmm. That's true. But this is not the news. And I am not trying to create any illusion that I'm sitting in a $1 million studio. Nor do I feel like, seeing as this is my channel and my space, and I want to stand out and be myself, I don't feel any necessity to subscribe or prescribe or to follow anyone else or what anybody else says I should be doing. I'm not interested. I'm here to be myself. That's the most important thing I can do. That is absolutely my, the most important thing I can be. And if I'm not myself, if I am somebody else, there is absolutely no point in me being here. Who am I? For those who are new to the channel, I will just quickly explain the fact that I have been a working paid photographer for 30 years and I was playing with cameras for almost the decade before that. I have a deep, deep, built-in, into my DNA, desire and love for the image, the frame, the capacity to create magic within this rectangle or square. This is something that has always given me deep, deep joy. But I think it'd be safe to say that I've also been a bit of a, a, bit of a maverick with it. I haven't just been a photographer, but I decided at the age of 19 that I was going to publish my own card range and postcard range. And within a year, that was selling in two major department stores, like uh, I think Blo Bloomingdale's, is that one of them? Or Macy's, I think. That's the American version, uh, or Harrods. I was in two massive stores called David Jones and Meyer here in Australia. And my products stayed in those stores for the next 20 years. Why? Well, I just thought, why not? Why can't I do it? Why can't I try? And back in those days, people said to you, never photograph into the sun. You don't shoot into the sun, do you? Funnily enough, shooting into the sun, uh, but you were also told not to put your subjects in the sun. So you've either got the sun behind them or in front of them. Yeah. Anyway, I loved shooting into the sun from day dot. And why? Because it created a more interesting frame. And why? Because you and me, we're here to create interesting frames. We're not interested in being mediocre. What's the point of going out, spending all this money, walking miles, working so hard, just to find yourself in the middle of the road? No disrespect, I just think, why not? So this video is about breaking rules and it's about breaking rules in order to be more than just standing or sitting or lying down in the middle of the road. Now, in the film days, which so many people watching this and based on the metrics around my audience, uh, more than two thirds of the people that watch this channel are younger than me. So they may not have much experience with film. Now, film was a very, very expensive way to experiment. It was much harder to experiment because it cost you a lot of money. Let's not talk about the film days. They're long gone for, for the fact that if you choose to, you can now shoot on digital. Of course, you can still shoot on film. So they're not long gone as in gone gone, but they're long gone if you want to have the choice. So almost 20 years ago, I got my first digital SLR and this changed the capacity to experiment. It did other things. It meant that suddenly there was 10 to 20 more photographers in the world. That's another story. We're not here to talk about the 
change that happened to the industry that's my industry 15 years after I got into it because suddenly there was 10 times the photographers. Let me know if you'd like me to talk about that old history lesson one time and what the res resonating impacts of that are still 15, 20 years later. But today we're here to talk about experimentation. So digital arrived, the cost of taking a photograph once you'd purchased your camera was zero. Prior to that, it was actually quite expensive. Every frame cost you 30 cents just in film, and then you had to process it, and then you had to print it, etc., etc., etc. Might cost you five bucks to get a nice print big enough to actually see what's going on. Maybe 10. Whereas today, you can take a shot, put it on your computer, decide you don't want it. In essence, it costs you not much at all. This can mean experimentation of any type. And what I love to do and what I did in 2008, say when the Nikon D3 came out and it had this severely improved ISO that we hadn't seen before, I decided to, to push that ISO and push my lenses, everything to its limit. So I went out there and I shot at 3200, which was high for 12 years ago. And uh, I got my 1.4 lenses or my 2.8 lenses and I would go and I would push them to wide open and then I would be out there walking around without a tripod in the middle of the night, in the fog, handheld. Everything together, hands and legs together, arms up against the chest, holding the lens very carefully and <sighs> holding my breath, doing everything I can to be still. And if there was a wall nearby, I'm up against that wall, don't you worry. I'm 100% up against that wall. And that experimentation allowed me to go out at night when the prevailing conditions were just superb for photography. And instead of capturing, say, 10 or 20 images, because tripods are very slow to work with, very slow compared to, especially the tripods back then. Tripods today are way, way quicker and way better than they were 20 years ago or whatever. Tripods today are so much quicker and so much more efficient. They're still much slower than just shooting handheld. So I pushed myself out there and I experimented with the idea of what's the lowest shutter speed that I can get away with? What's the highest ISO I can get away with? How much can I push my lens to its limits and still get a shot that people will buy? And this is exactly what I did. I pushed every metric of my camera to its limit, got shots, and images from that night have been some of the most successful images I've ever created. So there's one really important point I want you to take from this. And we all get so wound up in specifications. But here's the thing. This is what I've learned from literally selling hundreds of thousands of images. People do not care about the specification of the image. They don't actually care what camera you shot it on. There's very few that if you said, ah, I shot this on a Hasselblad, they'd go, oh, that's exciting. That makes me want to have it. Very few. That might be one in 10,000 people. People never ask me what camera I shot this on because they are falling in love with the image and what, what it evokes in them emotionally. What is their response to the image? And if it's a little bit more grainy or a little bit less grainy, people don't care. They don't see that. What they see is how it makes them feel. How it makes them feel. So I say to you, just based on this one example, you get your camera and you push it to the limit and you find situations that are pushing, they're absolutely pushing the out, outward envelope of what is possible to achieve. And then you will find situations that are inspiring or inspiring. For example, 
example, astrophotography is pushing cameras, it's pushing technology, and these images are awesome. One day I'll get out there and do it. So I implore you, break the rules. For instance, now we have VR in our lenses, which allows us, for example, I can shoot with a 70 to 200 at a quarter of a second. That would feel like madness, but don't be afraid. It's digital. Take a shot, take another shot, take 10 shots of the same thing because you know you are pushing your technology to the absolute limit. You know that you're doing that. Deliberately take 10 shots, whatever it is. Whether it's about VR, whether it's about large apertures pushing to the absolute largest aperture of your lens, whether it's high ISO. All of these things can help you to do things that we haven't seen before. From my perspective, the idea of shooting in the dark, where in the past you had to have tripods, you had to do long exposures. I love shooting at night with my tripod, but it's eight or 16 second exposures. And removing the tripod and having short shutter speeds at night, it actually changes the type of photography you're gonna capture. It actually is a new look. Because in the good old days, everything would be streaks. Anything moving, streaks. People, streaks. This allows you to capture at night. It's clearly night, but it's different. It's new. It's new outcomes. So I implore you. We've all got different gear. We've all got different cameras. It's all got different limits. Think about what you love to do, and then think about how you can bring something new to the table. Think about each metric, shutter, aperture, ISO, your lens's capabilities. How, what can you do to stretch it right to its breaking point? And there, there at that envelope, there at the edge, there at the cliff, you might find something that you've never seen before and it'll be so exciting. It'll be so exciting to you, it'll be so exciting to your fellow photographers. I'd love to see it. And if you've got an example of such an image, please, Send it to me. Jump on the email, jump on my website, email, email me, I'll email you back, and we can do it that way. This video is about push yourself, push your gear. You've got absolutely nothing to lose. It's digital. And you never know, you never know, you might actually create and inspire yourself with what comes out. This equipment, this equipment we have today, all of it, extraordinary. You be extraordinary with it. Think outside the box. Don't worry about the rules. You've got nothing to lose. There's zero cost in taking one shot with one set of settings and one with another. And have fun with it. This is all just about fun and being creative and inspiring yourself to new places. So come on, let's inspire ourselves. I very, 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 very much look forward to seeing you again. If this is your first time here, it is so lovely to meet you. Please subscribe and then we can see each other again. Please share, please like, and uh, if you'd like to see over 200 episodes right now, just down there, you can click on them and have a little look. All right, go break some rules. Not your cameras, don't break your cameras, just break some rules, okay? <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. See ya.